I want to talk about an age when the international language of science was Arabic. We often forget, not just in the West, but in the Arab and Muslim world as well, that for many centuries, while Europe was in the Dark Ages, there was a thriving civilization and thriving scholarship in the Islamic Empire. And I think it's important to remind the Arab world and the, and the wider Muslim world that science wasn't a construct of the West, even though that is the narrative that we are even taught in schools in the Arab world today. That science really goes back as a continuum, all the way from the ancient Greeks through this golden age of Arabic science through to the Renaissance and the scientific revolution in Europe. Ibn Sina is probably the greatest and most famous of the scholars of the Islamic period. He was the Einstein of the medieval world. He wrote a book on medicine, the canon of medicine, which was so influential, it was the standard text on medicine for six or seven centuries around the world. The Greeks believed there were just four elements, earth, air, water, and fire, that everything was derived from those. Arazi went way beyond that in classifying salts and minerals and metals and understanding their properties. Any scholars in the Middle Ages who wanted to learn about astronomy or medicine or algebra or chemistry would have to travel to the Muslim world to find out the latest in research.